Clearly, today's 75 basis point increase is an unusually large one, and I do not expect moves of this size to be common. All right, Lydia, so we got your, your uh, audio fix there. We just heard. Um, so how, let's go back to the first question. You know, how is this going to affect all of us? Yeah, d desperate times calls for desperate measures, and that's certainly what we saw here today. And it's it's interesting, just moments after the Fed made this announcement, we saw some of the reverberations. So J.P. Morgan Chase, which is the largest uh, bank in the U.S. that loans to businesses and to people, they said they're going to hike their interest rates. And we're going to see that all across the U.S. economy. Now, what does that mean for someone out there? Well, if you're a saver, uh, it's good news for you. Your money is worth more now. You will get more interest in the bank. But if you're a borrower, you are going to owe more money um, on your debt. So that means if you have a car payment, if you have a student loan payment, it's going to cost you more money. If you have a mortgage and it's a readjustable rate, you could be looking at that rate go up one, two, three percentage points, which is thousands of dollars. And of course, the end goal here is to bring inflation down. And the idea is if you're spending more money on a mortgage, you're going to have less money to go out to eat, um, to go buy clothes and to go do fun things. And that means there's going to be fewer dollars chasing the same amount of goods. And hopefully that'll uh, just you know lower some of the inflation. All right, Lydia. So good for savers, bad for borrowers. But how soon can we expect to really start seeing the effects of this hike? Yeah, I mean, the Fed is very focused on the long run. And so, um, you know, it's interesting when we, the Fed says it's bringing down inflation. It's not like we're going to have zero percent inflation next month. We will probably continue to see at least, you know, eight percent inflation. But the, the goal is that over the long term, we'll bring it down. So what they're saying is two years from now, we could be looking at inflation rates of 2.2 percent, which is a bit more normal. In the meantime, though, that may have pretty high inflation rates. And so we're going to continue to feel the pain. And two years feels like a long time from now if you are having to make those mortgage payments and you're having to make those car payments and you're not prepared for that. Oh, yeah, certainly. Yeah, two years can certainly seem like a very long time. All right, Lydia, last question for you. You know, we heard we heard that sound today from the press conference. Do you think we're going to see more rate hikes this year if this doesn't maybe help? Absolutely. And and Jerome Powell, you know, even signaled that today. So much of what he is supposed to do is give forward guidance. And he said, you know, we're talking about how the 75 basis points hike is historic. He said he could do that again just next month. So, you know, you mentioned at the beginning of the segment, the Fed was predicting, uh, you know, bringing inflation rates or bringing interest rates to 1.9. They basically doubled that. Um, and so it sort of eroded their credibility when they give guidance. And so it's it's very reasonable to assume that we will see more hikes next month and potentially the month after. All right. Yeah. So we could see even more. All right. Lydia Moynihan, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who teach one and rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk in their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Ak with listening, listening, and learning, Shalom. To Brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. We'll get right into it. We we saw the, the the news clip, right? And this this is making the news today. Fed hikes its benchmark interest rate by seventy five percentage points, the the biggest increase since nineteen ninety four, right? And at the end of that uh, news article, we heard the uh, the lady, the 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 anchor the the the. the the finance special, the finance analyst saying that um, expect more rate hikes, as much as 0.75 percent basis points next month, man. Right. Right. Americans, Babylonians are about to feel a pain, man. You know what I mean? Deuteronomy. Twenty three verse nineteen, and this is a law, this pertains to Israelites. Right? This pertains to Israelites. 
Thou shalt not lend, thou shalt not lend upon usury to thy brother. Right? And you look at this word usury is interest. Right? Strong's H, 5391. Nashach. Nashach. Right? To give interest. Lend for interest. To pay interest. Right? Look at that. To strike with a sting as a serpent. Right? <laughs> Right. And who's the serpent? Esau, Edom. To oppress with interest on a loan, bite, lend upon you. She right. So these 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 diabol these these ruling class elite banking families, right? Their whole empire is built on robbery, theft, deceit, right? Usury. Deuteronomy 23 verse 19. Thou shalt not lend upon usury to thy brother. Usury of money. Usury of victuals. Usury of anything that is lent upon usury. Unto a stranger thou mayest lend upon usury. Right. Once again, this is to the Israelites. Israel being a people for a place. You so-called indigenous. You so-called Latino. You so-called so Negro. Right. Once again, this shows that he, the heathen are nothing, like an unto spittle. Right? Unto a stranger thou mayest lend upon usury, but unto thy brother thou shalt not, thou shalt not lend upon usury. That the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, may bless thee in all that thou settest thine hand to, in the land whither thou goest to possess it. Right? Usury, man. Interests. Right? And on Esau's kingdom, it's folding. Proverbs 20, verse 8. He that by usury and unjust gain increases his substance. Right? And who did that? Usury and unjust gain. These ruling class elites. These banking families. Esau, Edom. The wicked. He shall gather it for him that will pity the poor, right? So ultimately, right, your kingdom, as you know it, America the Great, Babylon the Great, is going to fall. Right? Then it say Nahum, Nahum 3 verse 1, Woe to the bloody city. Nahum 3 verse 1 and it reads, Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies. Right? America. Full of lies, deceit, deception. And robbery. America. The prey. Who are the prey? The Israelites. Departeth not. Right? And this is this is America the Great. Right? But this... uh. This uh this uh interest rate thing a lot of a lot of a lot of Americans are gonna fold man right two thirds of the people gonna fold out here man the heathen nations they're gonna fold out here Deuteronomy thirty verse seven and the Lord thy power right Yahweh will put all these curses upon thine enemies right beginning with Esau Edom all these curses Beginning with Esau, Edom, and these heathen nations, these curses are about to fall upon you. And on them that hate thee, hate who? Israelites. Which persecuted thee, right? And who persecuted the Israelites? Beginning with Esau, Edom. Right? These curses. Right? And what curse are we talking about in particular here? Deuteronomy 28, verse 38. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, right? Much seed. Work. That's work. 
planting seeds, carrying much seed out into the field. That's work, man. So you're going to work. Work hard. Non-stop. This is one of the curses. And shall gather but little in, right? And who's who, who, who? This has happened to Jake. Been happening to Jake. Your money don't go far enough. You work hard. Sometimes two jobs. Sometimes three jobs. Break your body. Right? And you gather but little in. The money don't go far enough, man. You're always just treading water. That's that's been the that's been the the the, the plight of Jake. Right? We just read all these curses to fall on your enemies. America's about to feel it. For the locust shall consume it. Right? The locust. Right? 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 Plant much seed. Nothing to reap. Right? This interest rate thing is going to, is going to, is going to, it's going to hurt a lot of Babylonians, man. Right? Micah 6, verse 15. Thou shalt sow, right, plant, but thou shalt not reap, right, nothing to reap. Thou shalt tread the olives, but thou shalt not anoint thee with oil and sweet wine, but shalt not but shalt not drink wine. Let's read that again. Thou shalt sow, but thou shalt not reap. Thou shalt tread the olives, but thou shalt not anoint thee with oil and sweet wine, but shalt not drink wine. Right? This listen, man. The, the fruits of your labors. Right? These dollars, these dollars nah stretch. Right? These dollars, these dollars, these dollars ain't gonna stretch. Right? Interest rate hikes. We just heard in the article. Mortgages, loans, car notes. Right? All all in hand, all hand in hand with inflation. Everything's going up. But the money now come in. Right? Same. The wages aren't increasing. Right? Americans could see grocery store prices skyrocket even higher. Right? This place is through. This place is done. I got one verse six. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Right? Planted much. Worked hard. Small. M minor. Little. Can't make ends meet. Paycheck. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Right? Not enough food. You're eating, but you, you know, you, you're just getting by, man. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Right? Just getting by. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. Right? We brought this out not too, a few days ago, man. And this is coming out heavy now, man. Cause yeah, the, the money, the money, the, 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 your money is not doing, it's not cutting it. It's not covering nothing. You're always in the red. You're that hamster on the wheel, man. All right, and this is coming on the whole world, man. And Lord willing, we have that number, that hopeful elect. The elect will be the, the elect will be stable in that day, man. People are gonna start bugging out out here, man. You're gonna see violence increase, stress levels increase, substance abuse increase, alcoholism gonna increase, domestic abuse gonna increase. Right? People are going to get tense out here, man. Stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing. Kwame Asherala. Wa. Abad. Baba. Shalom.